can't hide behind the lights. Today we want to look at turning a polynomial written in standard form into a polynomial written in nested form. This essentially involves factoring out like terms in a series of different factorizations. And I'll show you what that means through a couple of examples. First I'll give you a couple examples that are just general polynomials and then we'll move to some specific ones from chapter 3 lesson 1 investigation 2 problem 4 which is located on page 189 but the first general polynomial we want to look at is 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 so this polynomial right now is written in standard form and we want to write it in nested form. So if we take a look at these three terms, all of them have an x in common. So we can factor out an x. And then we can rewrite that as 3x squared plus 2x minus 6 all multiplied by x and we still have the plus 9. Now we want to take a look at these two terms. Again they both have an x in common so we can factor out an x from each of them. That will leave us with 3x plus 2 times x, still have the minus 6, and then we still have that multiplied by x, and then plus 9. Now if we look at our remaining terms, 3x plus 2, there's nothing we, further that we can factor out of that. So our final answer, or our final factored equation in nested form is simply 3x plus 2 times x minus 6 times x plus 9. Now let's take a look at a more challenging polynomial. This one is x to the fifth minus 15x to the fourth plus 5x to the third minus 225 x to the second plus 274 x minus 120. This polynomial as it's written is in standard form. Again we want to change it to nested form. So let's take a look at these terms. Again all of them have an x in common. We can factor out an x. So we can rewrite this as x to the fourth minus 15x to the third plus 5x squared minus 225x plus 274 all multiplied by x. We still have our minus 120. Now let's take a look at these terms. They all have an x in it. Let's factor out that x. That leaves us with x to the third minus 15x squared plus 5x minus 225 all times x plus 274 times x again minus 120. I'm going to need a bunch more colors. So now look at these terms. 
let's factor out an x. That will give us x squared minus 15x plus 5 times x minus 225 times x plus 274 times x minus 120. Now, we have two more terms with x in them. Let's factor out the x one more time. That'll give us x minus 15 times x plus 5 times x minus 225 times x plus 274 times x minus 120 now we have finally written this polynomial in degree 5 originally in standard form in nested form and that is this final polynomial here speaking of nested form let's now take a look at chapter 3 lesson 1 Investigation to problem number four on page one eighty nine. A. The polynomial it wants us to put in a nested form from standard form is x cubed plus nine x squared plus eleven x minus twenty one. Take a few seconds or a minute or two, pause this video, try to place the standard form polynomial in a nested form. If you did everything correctly, you should have come up with a polynomial in the nested form that looks like x plus 9, that quantity times x, plus 11, that full quantity times x, minus 21. Now let's take a look at B in the same problem. The standard polynomial that it wants us to place into nested form is x to the fourth plus 2x to the third minus 13x to the second minus 14x plus 4. Once again, take a few seconds, a couple minutes, work this problem through, try to place this standard form polynomial in a nested form, and then come back to check your answers in a minute. Once again, if you did everything correctly, you should have changed the standard polynomial into the nested form of x plus 2 that quantity times x minus 13 that whole quantity times x minus 14 again that entire quantity times x plus 4 so today we've investigated and discussed ways of turning a standard form polynomial into a nested form polynomial <laughs>